Incredible money by the rebel coming from the streets huh? Back in the days that sound system with the 18 inch speaker Saxon cops in unity Then my right the area Inspiration system in ya coming from Jamaica Tottenham means are you ready for the truth? I tell them that them culture Babylon a fraud I want them at me yard Babylon a fraud One come deep man down in the gutter Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Night Owl UHC Season 3. Um, ooh, it is just starting to turn day. I just killed two people. Sadly, Madman, my teammate, passed away. <laughs> I almost just left my anvil behind like a freaking derp. I'll take you, even though you're very damaged. Um, so yeah, I have a decent amount of gold on me. I just need the apples now. And I've got, I've got some flint and steel. I did lose my lava, but if I find a surface pool, I can grab it from that. I have a power 2 bow, and I have a sharpness 3 sword. So I'm a little bit better equipped because of that exchange. I'm a little less prepared because I did lose quite a bit of health. I got quite low, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with myself for being able to take out two people. They had me pinned down, they had better equipment than I did, so uh, yay me! I'm happy. I'm quite happy. Um, I do have some more leather in case I find more reeds and want to make more books, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to get the levels for that. Did I not pick up levels from killing players? Maybe they had all used up everything they had, or I don't know. I think you, you pick up like a reduced amount of levels if you kill someone, right? Okay, so who do I have left? Oh, Balor and Jarbo. I do not want to find them. I cannot take on a two-person team with really high health. Um, I have a good shot against Asmo and Micro because they're both low. Um, blue Chip is only a little bit higher. Um, nah. So I do stand a chance against the other single guys out there. But man, if I run into that team, I'd have to be really lucky. Because I know Balor plays a lot of UHC. Oh gosh, don't want to fall down there. He plays a lot of UHC, so he is very practiced. I only play UHCs like these when they're recorded, so I don't get nearly as much practice with PvP. So I prefer to avoid that if possible. I should at least take the time to break some leaves here, because if I don't get another apple, I'm not going to have much of a chance. Four hearts, not going to last me very long. So I don't want to waste a lot of daylight. Oh yes! I love you game! Actually, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and eat, make this and eat this right now. I'm going to make my millionth crafting table. I'm going to get this thing done. If I manage to get a second one, I will save that for a fight. But right now, I just I feel like I just need the health. It may not be a good idea, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, let's go ahead and keep breaking this. See if this is the best tree in history. And I need to scan every once in a while... Make sure I'm not getting snuck up on. Whew, okay, my health isn't terrible now. Just those two little hearts made me feel a lot better. Come on, come on, be the best tree. Be the best tree of all times. Give me a second apple. Oh, you scumbag! <laughs> no, that tree was good to me. Um, I think I can spare the time to do a little bit more of this because that was quite profitable. So yeah, if I manage to get one more, then when I eat it, that will get me up to just two hearts shy of full health, and then I'll still have the absorption afterwards. So that would effectively put me at full health for a while. And plus, I believe the uh, absorption hearts regen while you still have the effect, so that's a very nice added bonus. Come on, tree. Your neighbor over there was pretty awesome. Are you going to be awesome, or are you just going to be a lame tree? Lame tr Nobody likes lame trees. You should be an awesome tree. There will, there will be tales told of you. Songs will be sung if you, if you merely give me an apple. Oh, you scumbag. You absolute scumbag. Uh, I don't want <laughs> to just sit here breaking tree leaves, but I need to. I, I've got to do it. I've got to find a balance between making this entertaining enough for you guys and also giving myself the best chance I can at actually surviving and doing well. Do a quick scan for players. Man, I wonder where those guys were that jumped us. Because I had, I had not seen anybody when we were walking around on the surface, and then all of a sudden they're right there. Okay, seriously, right, first time 
Almost right away I get myself an apple. Where is this second apple? Come to me! Get in my belly! Oh, this is infuriating. This is absolutely infuriating. This big old tree with all these leaves isn't going to give me a single stinking apple. Are you kidding me? Was that you? I should murder you for your levels. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, game. I really need another apple. Ooh, I see... Stuff. Oh. Is someone else around, or did they just leave before it could despawn? Okay, that... Oh, I hear lava. If there's a surface pool, I would not mind getting some more for my bucket. <sighs> okay, do I have to cross water again? Because I, I dropped my boat, so I'd have to make more. That's so annoying. Let's go over this way first. I really hope I don't have to wait for another stinking night. I'll just speed it up for you guys if that does happen, but I hope it doesn't happen. Because that's, that's just annoying for me. I'm getting, I'm getting antsy. I want to end this thing. Okay, everybody's still at the same health, I believe. I increased a bit. Ugh, oh, crap, someone else has already looted the area. I may want to wait to do any boating until it is actually night, and we've still got a good part of the day left. Okay, maybe I should just go back to the big tree. And, uh, and yeah, do some tree stuff. Oh! <gasps> Oh, man. GG, guy. Well, crap, there's one less person I might be able to catch out. That's bad for business. That is bad for business. Because that is what I really need, is to be able to, you know, pick off a few people. Because I do have pretty decent gear right now. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure about this job. I need to pick off a few people, hopefully get some healing items from them, and hopefully not take too much damage doing it. So now the only person I can hope to catch out is either Asmo, and then I'll have a fair fight with Blue Chip. Which, you know, nobody wants a fair fight, you know? You want to have the upper hand. Okay, let's come up here, and let's just start breaking leaves, because that is such exciting footage to watch. It is Cthulhu punching. Just, just punching. That's all I do here on this channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed this UHC so far. Make sure... Oh, I probably shouldn't be standing on these leaves in case they break while I'm on them. But, uh, yeah, make sure to check out the other people's perspectives. At least at least one person per team, I'd say. Maybe a little redundant to watch both people per team. But uh, you may find out about some night owls that you hadn't heard of before. I know a decent number of the subscribers that are playing with us also have channels that are more or less active. So a lot of content you guys could check out, and I highly recommend it. And I don't know why NB Train Dude is back. Maybe he just wanted to see where everybody's at. Okay, this is the worst tree imaginable. How many freaking leaves have I broken without getting an apple? And every time I see something drop, I get so excited. Ugh, it's giving me saplings. This is really stupid and silly, and I don't like it. But I can scan every once in a while, make sure no one's trying to sneak up on me. If they do, I'm in an absolutely terrible position, and I will have no chance. There's another tree I could try over there. But yeah, if this doesn't cut it, um, then I'm going to have to just hop in a boat and see where that gets me during the night. Because that'll at least be something I can do during the night to uh, provide some content for you guys to watch. Instead of me punching a tree. Ugh. But I feel like, uh, I feel like Mad Mad and I got fairly lucky this UHC. We did a pretty good job. We, we did take a little bit of damage early on, but we didn't have to eat any apples before combat. Before, you know, meeting somebody in combat, which is good. Didn't have to waste any. Because I've, I've seen a lot of people that do UHCs where they spend so much time caving, and they end up taking damage that the amount of golden apples they actually get, they have to end up using to, you know, recover their health. And that's something I try to be careful about, unless I <laughs> find silver fresh. Okay, this is the worst tree of all time. If it's a game mechanic where the giant oak trees don't give apples, I'm going to completely facepalm for wasting all this time. This is this is infuriating. I'm done. I don't even want an apple from this tree anymore. It'd probably be a crab apple and be super sour and just taste terrible. 
I don't want that. I'm going to go check out this tree over here. Maybe he's not a scumbag. That is so annoying, though. Just one more apple, and I would feel so much more confident. You have no idea. I think I have enough daylight to go take out this tree and then get back to the western shore. I hope. This has not been the best seed for a UHC. I understand why Vengeance Tech picked one without a jungle in it, because you don't want really easy melons for enchant or not for enchanting, for uh, brewing. But uh, just the, the large amount of water that you have to deal with and very uneven land has been kind of annoying. But you can't get a perfect seed. You can't win them all. Overall, it's been pretty good. The cave system we followed uh, that one team into, it turned out to be pretty good for us, so I can't complain about that. And apparently, I'm just not allowed to have a second apple. The game has cut me off. I'm like, nope, you get one, and then you're done. Okay, I should do a scan. There's lots of cows and stuff, but I think I, I can't imagine I'll last long enough to need to finish off all the food I have. That would just be ridiculous. And there's trees over there. This sucks. But you know what? Screw it. Screw it! I'll break those. How about that? Mm. Yeah, I'll break them really quickly, and then I need to get over to the shore. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, this game. This game. Alright, well, let's start... Oh crap, I don't... I haven't even made a boat yet. Oh crap. Here, okay, let's do that. Let's get down to the shore. I'm going to sprint and use up some of my hunger bar, but uh, I want to make sure I get onto the water before mobs start spawning and giving me a tough time. So let's carefully pick our way down here. This is not the best place to start boating, but it's going to have to do. And I hear that lava again, but I'm not. I'm just going to ignore it. Just going to ignore it. Oh, dang it. I could have just done that. Lay derp. Okay, I'll pick you back up for a change. You are the one lucky crafting table that actually gets picked back up. All right, now let's get away from land. Hopefully it's not too tricky. Uh, turn. Oh my gosh, you stupid boats. Okay, we'll go forward then. Son of a crap. <laughs> All right, let's go western towards the setting sun. Um, I don't remember what the chords were. I guess... Eh. One thing I could do is just try to go out of bounds and then get teleported back to spawn, but I'm guessing there's a good chance that people are camping the spawn. Oh, game, load in for me, please. I don't need any glitchiness. Oh, are you serious? Is there just land right here? Oh, son of a crap. Son of a crap. Okay. Can I get you back, please? Dang it. Get in me. Get in me. Okay. Um, well, hopefully this is a good land mass. You know what? We're going to dig down. We're going to speed things up for you guys, and we're going to bring you back in, and there's actually something to do.